What do we got here? It's an 18th century flintlock pistol used around the Revolutionary War period. After they shoot something, then they flip it around and use this to smash somebody in the head. You actually make some of these with axes on the end of them. Yeah, yeah, isn't it cool? I'm here today to sell my 18th century uh, flintlock pistol. I consider myself uh, an amateur collector. This is the oldest one I've ever bought, and it's got a lot of history to it. I think it's a really good gun. So why are you trying to get rid of it? Well, um, my wife is, uh, is kind of pushing me for it. I love this gun. It's like been the cream of my, uh, my collection, and you know it kills me to sell it. I, I don't want to sell it, but I either got to get rid of the gun or the wife. And, Oh man, some people would choose to get rid of the wife. I've had her a long time. She's paid <laughs> off. Where'd you get it? I got it at a gun show. Uh, there was a seller there who had uh, got it from a estate sale, and I was told that uh, at the estate sale it had been in the family for generations. So, you know, the seller had a lot of information about it. And if you look over here, they've got some uh, some of the markings that are in, in indicative of something in that uh, time period. So, so how much are you looking to get for it? Um. I'd like to get a grand out of it. I, I think it's worth it. A grand? Um, it's, not that it wouldn't be worth a grand. It's, you know, I just don't know if it's real. I'd like to call in an expert. Okay. If it is real, then I can definitely take it and we can probably work out a deal. No problem. All right, deal. I got to make sure it's real. Before I make a deal, I got to call somebody and find out. So today I met with a guy who wanted to sell me a pistol. I've never really seen one of these, so I had to call my buddy Sean to come down and check it out. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Hey, Corey. Good to see you again. What I love about the Antique Arms and Army is just being able to connect it with our history and just knowing that, gosh, you know, there was a, a British officer that held this flintlock pistol and then now I'm holding it 300 years later. So this is yours, Jim? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. What, what do you know about it? Well, uh, I got it at a gun show and, uh, you know, the uh, seller had bought it from an estate sale and um, it had been in the family for generations and uh, I was fortunate enough to get it. Okay, and did he represent it as you know authentic and did it come with any paperwork or provenance or anything like that? He, he did tell me it was authentic okay. um, and uh, it did, but there was no paperwork with it. Okay. So he didn't, he didn't have it, you know, it's a state sale. So. Mind if I have a look? And please, please. Well, this form of uh, flintlock pistol was made by the British uh, military in between the years about 1790 and 1820. It's a smooth bore barrel with a range of about 20 to 30 feet. And, you know, it wasn't rifled, so your accuracy was <laughs> not so good. What do you think it's worth? If it's authentic and, you know, to the period, uh, anywhere between 15 and 2,500. To kind of give you an idea of the uh, standards of condition, you would expect to see all the metal uh, heavily pitted. This one, you can tell what the markings are. There's no, you know, apparent major pitting or damage or uh, deterioration to, you know, the metal or the wood. Um, so I would classify this as a very good defined condition. Um, unfortunately, just right off the bat, I know that this is unfortunately a reproduction. Um. Okay, so, so how can you tell? First of all, the markings were, you know, punched in as opposed to hand engraved. The crown over GR mark is for King George III, which is correct for the period guns. However, it's a bit different in style. It's not hand engraved. You would have certain markings on the barrel that were proof marks from the Tower of London. There is just nothing about this gun that is of the period. You're sure? 100% positive. It looks the period, and it looks like it has age, but it's all artificial. So, so okay. So, how much is this thing worth? Um, its value would be about seventy-five to hundred dollars. You know, I paid eight hundred bucks for this. I'm sorry, you, you you got burned. Yeah. So, okay, maybe the thing is a is a fake. I, Yeah, man, unfortunately this happens a lot. I mean, you gotta have something saying that it's real. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, I wouldn't want to lose that kind of money either. But I mean, he should have got the paperwork. Sorry. Oh, boy. My wife was pissed uh, when I bought this gun. Now she's really gonna kill me.